Oh, hold on, we got we got we got the person I've been waiting to say something for all day. Go ahead, brother. Hey, Choke, first and foremost, no disrespect. Sometimes the passion comes out, we can't read emotion through messaging. I don't disrespect you, brother. I've been a fan from day one, not just because of the whole Jay-Z thing. It's the passion that you had with the logic that matched the energy that matched the situations that made me follow you. It wasn't about how famous you were or what you had going on. You just seemed like one of the little guys. Like a lot of times our voice seems meaningless if we don't have some type of cachet with it. I felt some type of way because choke, you really ain't no joke, man. You be standing on this stuff. And I'm not telling you to follow the antics of Charleston as Man Cave was suggesting. If you really understand what this brother was doing in terms of him as the man, you'll understand why he had to get people's attention in that manner. It's, listen, brother, I've been, I feel like I've been around this bit, excuse me, this situational living my whole life. I've been in the military, got my degrees. I have six children. And why do I have to move to a white neighborhood to get a piece of heaven, to get a piece of, of, of just, you know, going along with being with my brothers and sisters out here without worrying about what type of mindset this individual have. There was a time we had that. I'm 38, man. There was a time that I grew up, all the old heads, you know, they gave us a piece of, of respecting our neighborhood that I'm seeing go away. It's going away. So we can't worry about, you know, what he's saying about the dead. I don't give a damn about the dead. If when they was on here on earth, they caused hell because we never see it from the side of the victim's families. We never see it from that side, man. We never get to see it from that side. So I, I don't agree with everything with Charleston, but that energy to make these people look like buffoons. And, and now it's time for us to mock them. They can't take it. It was always cool when they were playing the bully ball of tactics. You know, they got the cachet, they got the money, they got the clout. So your next door neighbor will, will respect somebody like a, like a NBA young boy before the old man down the street giving gems out all day. That's how it goes. So we needed an average dude to come out and take that power away from them. You know, a lot of us try to do the things that Charleston do, maybe not in the same way, but I'm just saying, bro, we needed to get energy like this flowing. This is the energy we need out here. I'm so sick and tired of street culture dominating who we are and the virtues we carry as black men and women. I'm tired of that. that that's all, brother. I, I wasn't trying to come at you, you know, in any type of wrong way. I'm just, like, I'm sitting back like, damn, choke, like, Brother, oh my God, bro. Like your passion for not holding back is always sincere. I was trying to figure out what's the shift when it comes to Charleston. Don't get lost in the maze like these other dudes who's looking for an excuse to downplay the words of the brother when it's actually hitting its mark. I like seeing these, these people's cachet fall down. I like seeing that. I'm so sick and tired. I can't go to a fucking football game with my son. And I, it's always something popping off. I don't want to move to the suburbs and, and think like that. I'm really about this shit, man. That's where you I better my move peace. to the suburbs. I found my peace through, through where I grew up at. Why do I have to leave away? I'm sorry, but that stuff pisses me off because this rap culture has dominated these little kids. I damn near took my son's neck off by disrespecting what his father had to do so you didn't have to claim none of that shit. And then you the oldest of my six. You better have my mindset. You better walk tall and be proud of just being smart, knowing your mathematics. We're supposed to build and destroy. We're not supposed to carry, you know, the lingering effects of violence and destruction. It's nothing but destruction everywhere you turn. Even the sisters, man, they won't respect a brother that just want to be down and peaceful. You got to have some type of cachet of a street cred. I had that. And I don't, I'm only like this because, brother, I've lost my own family members because of this. The hardest thing in the world for me is not worrying about anything but life. But when I watch my mother cry over my brother, it, that shit hurt me, man. We didn't grow up wild like that. Yeah, I grew up in the hood. But now I got to be told I speak different because I dared to be better. You know what I mean? I left the military and came back here. I got my own spot. But I came back because this is where I'm comfortable. 
But the minute that I found out the place that I'm comfortable at my, are barbecues, Little League football, drinking water out the water hose. That's the pride I gave to my children, man. That is being attacked, brother. So I don't know everything about Charleston, but I know how to recognize energy. And his energy is rattling the cages that hasn't been rattled enough. It hasn't been. We have step in. I agree with myself, too. We have step in, Choke. But I'm going to leave it there. I've, I've been saying a lot, but I'm, I'm pissed off. And we're supposed to be pissed off, man. We're supposed to be pissed off. That's all I'm saying. And I, and I get what you're saying, and I understand what you are explaining to me, his logic is and his, uh, his way of getting people's attention. But at the same time, I don't want to – if y'all – if people are following him and, and they like him this much and he's making a mark, well, I don't want to see his antics get his fucking head blown off. Then what good is he going to be to, to anybody? You, you know, live out your dreams. You don't think shit can happen, do you? I just ain't seen this nigga do this shit for the last four years. I'm talking about four straight years. When he first got online, he was talking about the Fort Worth Crips and the Woof the Woof, the Harvey Street Crips and Woof the Woof. And I've never seen this man get touched. I think a lot of stuff can happen. I, I ain't think Nipsey Hussle can die at the Crenshaw store. I done seen a lot in my own life that I, you feel me? But I know God got something going on with this man. I know it. I feel it. I see it. Because I got God got a lot going on with me. And I know, man, ain't nobody going to mess with Tarson White. He's not, he's not at home. He gonna, you know what I'm saying? He might get caught slipping like Martin Luther King if he do some other stuff. But at the same time, I know God working with this man. Because anybody that move like that, you got to have God with you. That's just me, though. Yeah, well, anybody can be touched. And if you can be touched, you can be killed. Anybody can be touched, but God God got certain people. Like, God got him. I don't think... Hey, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a very spiritual person. And if that's what it is, that's what it is. I, don't, I, don't, like going I, say, on. I ain't got no beef with him. I don't nah, dislike I the nigga. Don't. I don't hate him. I'm just like, yo, brother, I don't get your message. I know you don't. How, how long you been seeing this nigga? For maybe around the last two years, off and on, different shit. I seen when he was getting ready to get into the, 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 the shit with Marv James, and that shit could have went wrong. See, nah, that, that, that's that's little that's 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 little stuff. That, like that's that's really uh, that's really beneath him on some real stuff. But I really don't pay Mob James no attention. He got to worry about the white folks doing something to him. That's what I think. Mob James and what's them boys' name? Bos Bonzo or Bosco One Hundred? That shit beneath him. Melvin Farmer. He didn't already exposed them California niggas. I mean, I I look. I, I, like I said, I ain't got no problem with, with homie. I see the nigga like, fuck this dead nigga, fuck this dead nigga, fuck this. Nigga. I'm thinking about these niggas' mothers, sisters. Like, I know people that people come on the internet and they talk about murders and shit that they did. But then behind the scenes, they family members be reaching out and be like, yo, man, why the nigga talking about that? Yo, why you, cause they reliving that shit. So imagine a nigga say, yo, fuck your dead homie and fuck your dead homie. And, like and these other niggas is crazy. And then he gonna say some shit like, y'all ain't say nothing, y'all ain't gonna get little Timmy. 